guys and welcome to Minecraft Title Update 12 Changes and Additions. Now I have named this week Title Update 12 week so I'm covering many things that are given to us in the change log. Now if you haven't checked out my previous videos for this current series should I say there is links in the description to the new items and mobs that I have covered. They are very interesting and you guys seem to enjoy this so moving on there is a lot of changes and additions in Title Update 12 on this specific subject. There is many things available and I want to cover the main things first before I go into the things that are very unique and different. So I'm going to start off with three things that I think are worth sharing. I'm going to start off with the, the new mob AI because all the people are trying to understand what is the AI. Well AI means artificial intelligence and this is where mobs, this is where creatures um, are changed. They attack differently, they behave differently, they will, they will flee in a different direction. The likes of... Um, sheep the likes of pigs it will be completely different and you'll see when you are playing there is a substantial difference from the previous way the mobs did act so that is what the new ai will be now let's move on to the zombie say uh, the zombie siege should i say a lot of people have asked me to do a video about this to try and understand what it is now a zombie siege is where zombies or a substantial of zombies will spawn in and around the village now regardless of how well lit your village is or how many wars you've got up they will spawn anyway, so you can't get away with them. They do uh, occur on some occasions, they're not always happening. You do have to be careful though, because a lot of zombies will spawn. And if you're playing on hard mode, then you'll notice that they will start to break down new doors, which will be introduced in this update as well. So it's going to be great. So do be careful when you are out at night and you're exploring villages, because the new zombie siege will... Um, how can I put it? Put a fright up you. So do be careful when you are around villages. So moving on to cocoa beans. Well... At this point, cocoa beans you only see around mine shafts. You get them in the likes of um, some chests if you're lucky. But this time they have a use, they will be introduced because of jungle biomes, uh, which I think we've all along waited for. Now, a cocoa bean can be used as brown dye to dye the likes of your colored wool, which I think is good. And it's also um, used to make cookies. For you people who didn't know that, I'm sure you all did anyway, but they grow alongside the jungle trees and they are a definitely a great source to have in and around your house because if you need cookies, then that's great and if you need to use them for decorative effect for the wall, then you can do that. Now, the next things I'm going to be covering are still important, but I just thought those three were very important to focus first off. And I'm going to start off, we are definitely getting a new tutorial world and a matter of fact guys, I have a specific video going up later on about the new tutorial world and a little thing that I did find thanks to a subscriber but moving on we have a new map height limit to 256 instead of 128 now they did show this in the live stream the other day but you couldn't really tell much difference from the height diff but I am sure when many builders are making new designs they will see a substantial difference from the previous size of how high you could build which I think is going to be very cool and um, we're going to get jungle biomes, jungle trees, we're going to get slabs and stairs can be placed upside down by placing them below a block. And they are very decorative, upside down stairs are very a decorative effect, especially when you are building your house, they look a lot better than the plain block itself. We're going to see added corner stairs, we're going to see added 3D drops. Now 3D drops, in my opinion, they're not a, a great thing to have, but they're more attractive than the old blocks and they do... I'm sorry, they're more attractive than the old items, and I think it's just going to be great. More things that are added, I think it's always good to see new and unique things. Added, added dispensing dispensing boats and minecarts in, into a dispenser. Now, I think that is a great addition for the people who, de who design adventure maps and mini maps, because they will need them, especially if you're going to try and get from one side to the other. So, I thought that was a great addition to be added. New ambient cave sounds. Cave sounds, cool. You'll, you'll notice that you'll be um, scared when you're going down there, because you don't know if you've got anything chasing you which is great added rare drops from mobs now a rare drop in my opinion from a mobs i think this is going to be where the likes of you see a, a zombie or a skeleton with armor on and he drops like maybe an enchanted sword or an enchanted bow should i say so i'm not 100 percent sure if you do know leave a comment about that villagers will have children if there is room in their villages now a villager um, will mate in title update 12 and you will see many little villagers running around they do play um, tag shall I say they do hide from each other which is really cool to watch it's very unique and I cannot wait for baby villagers zombies break down doors on hard modes like I said I did cover that before which is going to be great crafting recipe for ladder now yields three ladders instead of two so you're going to get more for your money more for your blocks which is going to be cool you're not going to have to get as much wood when you need ladders placing blocks on grass will be uh, will replace it 
Lava now has a faint rumbling sound effect and a large particles that hop out of the lava producing a popping sound. They did show that in the live stream but not really that interesting, didn't really need to um, be told that but obviously they're telling us because they want to say everything that has been added. They've added a, a very rare desert wells that can be found in desert biomes. So they are very rare, but I don't really see too much advantage of having many desert wells, but they have been added. Increased max boats into the world to 40. When, the, when in the nether, snow golems will melt, melt and die, same as when they are in a desert biomes. Well, there's no snow, it's gonna be very hot, so they're bound to melt. So yeah, no, don't be making them in the nether or don't be making them in the desert biomes because you will lose your snow pile, which you don't want to happen. Now, this is also a great one. Abandoned mine shafts can generate with wooden bridges now when generated over a cave or over the top of another tunnel. Now, I think this is great because you people, you might see the likes of abandoned mine shafts. If it's across a ravine, well, then there's no way of getting across to the other side because it's not been introduced. And I think when you are looking down at a ravine, you will see the mine shaft through the ravine, which looks a lot more tr attractive. And you can get from one side to the other without having to worry about dying. So that is definitely a great addition to be had. Uh, doors have uh, been updated to, so that double doors work with uh, redstone, something that you can do as a, a builder with redstone, which is great. Added favorite tabs to the skin selector menu, storing recently used skins. Now I found this out on Twitter yesterday, that if you use the likes of Rayman skin, the Halo skins, then they will be stored in a little different menu where you can quick select and use that skin. So say your top five, you've got top five skins, well you can use them skins and you'll see what your top five skins are, which I think is a great addition. Added support of texture packs and mashup packs and display of these in the Minecraft store. So this for me confirms that Minecraft texture packs on Xbox will cost because they're going to be in the Minecraft store. So yeah, that is a great addition. I cannot wait to see texture packs and mashup packs. For now, this is only the support. Texture packs and mashup packs will be out at a later date from title of day 12. How quick it will be, we are still yet to find out. But that is the changes and additions, the specific changes and additions in title of day 12. In the description is a link to this page if you want to check it out and go over them yourself. Also, go and check out the Minecraft wiki. It's very interesting and you can find some great information there. But guys, the last thing I will be covering on Title Update 12 will be coming tomorrow and that is the fixes for Title Update 12 because with every Title Update we get, we always get fixes. But some of them are get some of them that we don't really notice but are very important. But apart from that, guys, I am Echoic Soldier. This is the changes and additions for the change log of Title Update 12. Make sure you hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed. If you did enjoy this video, well then leave a comment and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.